Hi everyone, my name is Moin and today I'm going to go through the process of removing duplicates from the Unicode string in SSIS by using SQL Server 2008 SSIS custom components. I developed a component which can be readily used and it's non-blocking so it gives you a lot of performance whereas if you use the sort or some other stuff they are pretty much blocking. Anyway let's get started and just a reminder this is an SQL Server 2008 DTS 100 component so it would only run on SQL Server 2008 installations for 2005 I will recompile it when I get time off from my 76 hour shifts and basically also an installation of SQL Server 2005 but let's get started I've already got a DLL over here which is deduplicate.dll and I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into the pipeline components which comes with the installation of SQL Server 2008 this is just a path where you can paste it if you've got SQL Server 2005 and if you are using 2005 component it would be DTS 90 instead of 100 so I'm just going to paste it and now I'm going to register the TLL by using the GSC Use successfully edit. Now I've already got my business intelligence studio, sorry, which has a package in there, and this package I can use an OLADB source. I've already created a data flow task so this is a bit advanced work I'm sure anyone who's using these packages would want to know but let's do it again create a data flow task I'm going to take an OLADB source and I'm going to take table right so I'm going to take let's say city over here yep okay so if I click on close now should do it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my custom component which I've just registered to the toolbox Here we are, click on OK, and there is the component. If I'm going to drag and drop it, let's see what it says. Only one input is supported. That is correct. Currently, it supports only one input, but this can be modified. I am looking forward to do another component which would have multiple inputs. It can select the duplicates from those ones. Let's save it to a variable, click on OK. Let's choose our input city. Click on OK. Now let's see that what have we got in the pipeline. I'm going to attach a data viewer and it gives us a flag set which returns the value of the 
component I mean the duplicate uh, whether column is duplicate or not it will return true or false and also it returns the city as well which is the default column name so let's see what happens when I run this see here we have got these two cities which are basically detected as they're not duplicate and if I scroll down Have a look Albany and this is duplicated so it's put true against that the flag set column so Andrea one is the main second one is a duplicate one is the main second one is a duplicate same In this case has and got s as well Atlanta same right so if I click on stop Now if I just add a conditional split name this as RC2 and save this value to let's say the same variable right so let's see what we get I'm just going to leave the names as default Let's run this. Okay, on the left side you would see that we've got the duplicates, and on the right side we've got the normal values. Albany, one Albany is here, three we've got here as duplicates, one Alexandria is here, one we've got as duplicate. Same is the case with these values they're being duplicated similarly if I scroll down you would be able to see the other ones as well which are being duplicated so by using this component you can easily check that which values are being duplicated and which are not by just putting a simply simple conditional split and if I detach these viewers now let's see and run this you should be able to see it's non-blocking
and that would be it. I mean, you would be able to see it clearly if you've got like a very big data set, but I've only got 19,000 rows, so it doesn't give a pretty much good look. So I'm just going to stop it now.